Doamnelor și domnilor, bine ați venit la o nouă ediție specială a lui Autopro.tv. Ei bine, astăzi suntem aici în Gaydon, într-o misiune secretă, să vedem ce înseamnă noul Range Rover Sport și cine poate fi mai nimerit decât însuși Nick Collins, părintele, executive line director, părintele acestui automobil. Nick, so good to see you again. You too. Tell us five key elements makes this car unique in the whole world. Oh wow, just five. So it's an all new Range Rover Sport and it's new from the ground up. It's on our modular, flexible, longitudinal architecture. Um, and we've put huge amount of efforts into creating a real duality in its character. We've got some incredible technologies in the car in terms of noise cancelling technology that's in the headrests that make it very, very refined. And then we put the very latest in our powertrain and our chassis technologies to make an incredible car to drive on-road and off-road. And you can really switch between a more refined, quiet character and a really sporting and dynamic nature, depending how you want it. And that really creates a unique positioning in the industry. As you mentioned powertrains, we just learned that you will have a PHEV, a mild hybrid and a V8, correct? Correct, yep. That means we will not have a diesel anymore? No, we've got diesel as well. So we have a six-cylinder inline diesel with mild hybrid. We've got an all-new twin turbocharged 4.4-litre V8 petrol. We've got a six-cylinder inline petrol mild hybrid as well. And then we combine that engine with the plug-in hybrid system for a car that can do over 700 kilometres of total range. Um, that car is certified at 113 kilometres of EV range. Um, and CO2 emissions of 18 grams per kilometer. By the way, how big is the battery for the PHEV? Because for 113, I suspect it's quite a big uh, battery. It is, it's a 38 kilowatt hour battery, but it's packaged under the floor in this car. So there's no compromise to the luggage volume at all. Now, when we will have a full electric Range Rover Sport? Well, we've been very happy to say with both Range Rover and Range Rover Sport, we'll have a fully, fully electric version in 2024. It's coming. It's definitely coming. Now you also uh, introduced us a super fantastic movie with Jess, uh, the, such a great person, stunt driver in the James Bond movie, and he did a fantastic adventure. Tell us a little bit of this adventure of Jess. So, as you say, Jess has done, she's been one of our stunt drivers in the Bond film. She's done quite a lot of work with the brand, but she's done this incredible film up in Iceland um, driving the car in some an amazing off-road scenery, but then just doing this incredible stunt up a spillway, huge amounts of water coming down. It's a hydroelectric power station in Iceland, huge amount of water coming down, incredible breathtaking stunt. Um, and she's just a great ambassador for our brand as well. What was real, what was fiction in that movie? Uh, it was all real, but there is a, there's a roll cage in the car for safety and there's a safety line on the car. Um, just in case, because we really like Jess, we wouldn't see anything happen to her. So, like in the movie, because we suppose in the James Bond movie, it was the same, uh, the same story, safe cage, uh, protective. Yeah, in that environment, you've got to put a safety cage in, you've got to put a motorsport fuel cage in, and, you know, fire extinguishers, etc. Uh, so, don't try, don't try back home, because it's not... I think, I think you'll struggle to find the environment back home, but I wouldn't try it either. Talking about uh, uh, so fantastic capabilities, Tell, a li uh, tell uh, us a little bit about the technologies behind the off-roading capabilities. Yeah, sure. So from a dynamics and off-road perspective, we've got our um, latest chassis technology in the car. So we've actually got dual volume air springs in the car. We can switch, um, close one of those um, air spring volumes very, very quickly, which helps us with pitch and with roll. Um, we've got electronic anti-roll control in the car that can go up to 1,400 newton meters of torque. So that allows us to really um, control the character of the car alongside um, uh, Bilstein uh, dual valve dampers in the car, monotube dampers. Um, so we've got some incredible found foundational elements there to control the behavior of the car on road and off road. And then what we've added to that is uh, rear wheel steer on the car as well. So that rear axle can steer at up to 7.3 degrees of angle. Um, we can go opposing angles when you're at low speed, we go in line when you're at high speed. At high speed it gives you a very natural lane change behaviour. At low speed it gives you incredible manoeuvrability. The turning circle of this car is 2 metres less 
than the car it replaces. Um, and then that technology also allows you to do some amazing things off-road. So if you're in ruts, for example, you can put the wheels in different directions. It allows the car to climb out of ruts uh, really easily. Um, just with any uh, Range Rover, it's amazing off-road. We've got our Terrain Response 2 system with multiple driver modes in it. Um, We've got over half a metre of articulation on the suspension. The air suspension can raise the car by 135 millimetres and you can wade in water up to nearly a metre in depth. By the way, uh, there is a, another car company on another continent <laughs> which invented this crab, crab movement. Did you imagine for the new Range Rover Sport to have such a movement yeah we look we, we looked at it and effectively that's what the car does at high speed so in high speed the wheels are going in phase with each other at low speed we decided to go the other way to minimize that turning circle but now that, because that one is a bit more dramatic than what you do yeah I... well it's, it crabs out of a out of a parallel parking space but i think actually you get more benefit from shortening the turning circle and then you can shuffle backwards and forwards and get out of that parking space. So we looked at it, we decided not to do it. Great. Let's go now to the new materials on board, because again, you are pioneering something nice, interesting and cool. Yeah, look, we've said as part of our reimagine strategy that we announced uh, last February that we want to be a sustainably rich company. Um, and that goes into a lot of our thinking at the moment. And this car that we're sitting in today there's a leather-free interior in it. This is what we call our materiality strategy. Um, this is the Ultra Fabrics pack. You've got some PU materials here. You've got some fabric materials on the door. And I think we're really pioneering both the types of material that are used and also where we put them. Um, the key thing for us is to make sure that it feels better. It's always driving that modern luxury positioning that we're trying to achieve. And you know, whether you uh, want to drive sustainability personally or not, we just want to make an incredible luxury interior and that's what I think we've done with this interior. How you will convince, let's say, the more classical customers to not buy a leather seat, just to buy the ultra fabric seats? Yeah, we still offer the choice, so ultimately it's going to be their choice. I challenge them to come into the showroom and try it. Um, I, I love the touch and feel of this material. I think it's incredibly soft. It's incredibly luxurious. I've had people in these cars that have no idea that it's not leather and actually think it's the, the next greatest iteration of a leather interior, but it's not. Um, so I, I will convince them through how, through the luxury feel and ambience of the car. And I'd like them to come in and see it. Okay. One last question is regarding the connectivity, the connected technologies on board. I saw that you have, uh, again, the Alexa. There is any success with Alexa on board of cars? Because I didn't see practically none of, uh, of Alexa embedded uh, in, in the Range Rover uh, range so far. Yeah, we started integrating it in with uh, Range Rover first of all, and then it's come with Range Rover Sport. And we've actually put it out to the rest of our portfolio through an over-the-air update. Um, you can use the... Um, inbuilt Land Rover natural voice control, or you can use Alexa, or you can use Apple CarPlay, or you can use Android Auto. So the system's got all of that capability within it, uh, within the PIVI Pro system. Um, and really, we're just continuing to involve that, both of the cars that we're launching and the fleet of cars that run that software. This car now has 63 ECUs that we can update the uh, software in them over the air. And that's really allowing us to um, keep the car fresh for the customer, and even offer new features as we go forwards as well. Nick, thank you very much. It was a pleasure talking to you. Pleasure to see you again. Dan. All the best. Thank you. And good luck with the car. Thank you very much. Thank you.